Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Got some pretty exciting news in the PC gaming world to talk about today. PlayStation 4 games are kind of playable on PC now, and you'll be able to play some big recently released EA titles for very, very cheap. More on that in a little bit. First, let's talk about some PS4 games being quote-unquote playable on PC. No, you're not going to be able to download all the PS4 exclusives, play them on PC with better graphics at 4K, all that stuff. I talked about it earlier how PlayStation Now was coming to PC, and now it's on PC and some PS4 games have been added. If you guys don't know what PlayStation Now is, it's Sony's game streaming service. You don't download any games, rather they are streamed onto your device of choice and you can play them directly on that device. I've used it. You do need a very nice internet connection to play it with no input lag, but when it works, it is a pretty solid experience. I was getting a bit of artifacting when I tried it out, but that was a few years ago and that was on a wireless connection too. I'm on a wired connection on my PC, so I imagine it would actually work pretty well. None Nonetheless, PS4 games have been added. Nothing insane. We don't have Horizon Zero Dawn or any game like that on here. But we do have exclusives such as Killzone, Shadowfall, God of War 3 Remastered, Rezogun, and those are really the three main games that stick out to me. Killzone Shadowfall was the big PlayStation 4 exclusive that came out on launch. I thought the game was pretty decent. Technically, it looked amazing. As far as how it compared to the other Killzone games, I thought it was weaker than Killzone 2 and 3, but I love those two games, so that's not saying much. God of War 3 Remastered, it's obviously God of War can't go wrong with that, and Rezogun was a game developed by Housemark, who are some of the most underrated developers in the world today. Still, I don't think this is enough for anybody on PC to really care about PlayStation now, however, this is a step in the right direction. If we can see games such as Horizon, The Last Guardian, you know, recent games that people actually care about, then I could see people saying, okay, even though it's streaming, the fact I don't need a PlayStation 4 and I can play these games, that's enough for me. If we can get to a point where games are being day and day available on console and PlayStation now, Again, then I think PC gamers would take notice, but Killzone Shadowfall at this point, you know, four-year-old game, God of War 3 Remastered is a remaster of a game that's, what, seven years old? These really aren't the type of games to make PC gamers take notice of PS Now, especially because the fact that it is just streaming is still a hindrance. Obviously, I think I speak for everyone when I say that I would rather download these games. However, because it's game streaming, even if you are on a crappy PC, as long as you have a decent internet connection, you can play these games, so there is that factor. Still, my main point is hopefully at some point we get some really nice games on PlayStation Now. If Horizon was available today on PS Now, I think some people would take notice of it. However, I understand Sony's reluctance of putting a game like that on PS Now because that's a game people are buying PS4s for. However, if you do want to sell PS Now to the masses and those that don't own a PS4, you do need to put marquee games on there that people actually care about. Moving on, another bit of exciting news is that Battlefield 1 and Titanfall 2, two of the best multiplayer games from 2016, are both coming to Origin Access this summer. If you guys don't know what Origin Access is, it's EA's $5 a month service that gives you access to a catalog of their games. And there's a lot of games in there. I believe Dragon Age Inquisition is on there, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, Star Wars Battlefront. There's a solid amount of games for only $5 a month. It also gives you early access trials to a lot of their upcoming games, discounts if you want to buy games. It's a very solid service for $5 a month. And if at any point you tire of all the games on the service, you can just cancel it. Hey, if you pay $5, you get access to titles like Battlefield 1, Titanfall 2, Dragon Age Inquisition, other games that are coming soon, The Sims 4, Oxen Free, all for a month. That's a pretty freaking good. I mean, think about back in the day when you went to like Blockbuster and rented a game for a week. They would charge you like $9 to rent a game for a week. Now you pay $5 a month for Origin Access, you get a slew of great games, and then you get a bunch of other decent perks as well. It's just a very good service, and to add Battlefield 1 and Titanfall 2 to them, hell yeah, count me in. Obviously, I own these games, so it's not a big alluring factor for me, but for a lot of you guys, if you just built your PC recently, signing up for Origin Access is a great way to get a shot in the arm to your PC game library. I mean, you get a lot of great games for a very cheap price. $5 a month is nothing for the quality of games that you're getting. Yes, obviously, when you unsubscribe from the service, you won't have the games anymore, but still, to have access to all those great titles for $5 a month, I just think that's insane. So that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. What will it take for PlayStation Now to be attractive to you? What games do you want to see on there for you to actually take notice of it? Or is it something like you're just not into streaming games, you want to download them, and it's something that you'll never buy into? And what do you think about Origin Access? I think it's becoming a very solid service, and now that you're adding Battlefield 1 and Titanfall 2 to it, if you don't own those games, man, Origin Access is just a great, great value. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.